Introduction. Hi, my name is Ali Smart. And I'm Owen Weymouth. And we're professional cliff divers. Time for an epic cliff diving adventure with the cliff diving couple. We made it to Turks and Caicos and it is absolutely beautiful here. I fell in love the second we landed. This old Soviet ship washed up due to a hurricane and now people just drive their boat up to it and jump off it. So we're gonna join in. Are you excited? I am, but apparently it's really shallow. So I've got that on my butt. You like safe. sketchy stuff though. I like sketchy stuff. Seven feet. All right, I'm on a shipwreck in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, 50 foot high. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. It is really rusty. I feel like you could fall through. I can literally see through. Look at this. You gotta be careful. Wow. Oh my god, I almost just stepped on this. Oh wow, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ellen nearly fell down that rusty hole. Wow. You're standing up there on the crow's nest and you're looking around at this like, you know, rusty shit but like the colors are so beautiful and then you just see this like turquoise water and it's just like it's unreal really it's such a cool view from the top and it was a really cool experience to jump there not only because it was so beautiful but because it's just like such a historical spot yeah. to jump at like there's history behind that ship and how it was dragged out and um, so to be able to jump at those kind of spots are also really cool because there's a story to be told. And we are gonna do some cliff jumping! former fleet ever imagined that one day this ship would get shipwrecked and everyone would end up jumping off mm. it. I don't think so. I don't think that's what it initially intended for, if I'm being honest. Don't think so either, darling. Realistically, that ship isn't going to be around much longer to jump off of. It's really rusting apart. So we feel really grateful we made it out here to yeah. jump off this ship while it was still possible. Yeah, I think by the time the next hurricane comes around, it might have fallen over completely. So it's not there forever. What you doing now? in the morning and we arranged a beach cleanup for 6.30 so that we could get the sunrise and it's the most effective because the sun's going to beat down at like 35 degrees in the middle of the day so getting up early is the best solution. We found a local organization that actually just came together very recently in the yeah. past couple months who started um, putting on local cleanups throughout Turks and Caicos and trying to raise awareness on the island because it's an issue that 
hasn't been talked about much here. And so we ended up going out at 6 a.m. with with the local group here yeah. and, and doing a cleanup. Let's pick up some trash. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. This happens everywhere on Earth, you know, it's, it's not specific to just here. Like this happens everywhere in the States, in England. It's just like when people don't know where to put their stuff, they find a little place off the side of the road, decide this is where I'm going to uh, dump my trash. And obviously the guys have found one and we're just going to clean it up right now. So we're doing our best, but obviously the main goal going forward is just to uh, stop this from happening in the first place. We went to what is called Split Rock. It's really cool. We just jumped here at this spot in Turks and Caicos and it's beautiful, but it is trash. And a big thing that we like to do is give back to every spot that we jump at. <laughs> so we are gonna do a little quick cleanup here at this spot and leave it better than we found it and give back to this beautiful island that has been so graciously welcoming to us. <laughs> Look at all that down there. We are out at a place that not very many people come to and it's this beautiful jumping spot but it is trashed like a lot of other places are and it's not necessarily that people just leave stuff here it just washes up that's that's part of it so this is kind of some of the stuff you can see you got the fishing wire down here you got some bottles so we're gonna get back and clean up a little bit So we got this full bag done in probably three minutes, not very long. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's not the most exciting thing in the world to pick up trash. Like it's, it's, it's not a spectacularly exciting activity, let's be honest. But if you can intertwine that with fun things that you're doing, and, and that's what we've managed to do, you know, if we're going out and we're cliff jumping, why not spend 10 minutes of our hike just picking up a bag of trash? So grateful, wow. making sure that you enjoy the planet and keep it safe at the same time.